we are back once again another stack of caskets to open on this journey towards the ever elusive purple party hat 24.5 billion gp has been accumulated so far we're getting closer and closer my friends almost 75 percent of the way there and almost at another milestone 25 billion gp is going to be a nice little milestone to hit and i reckon today we're going to definitely smash that right 200 hard caskets to open and 100 master caskets to open um today we'll take a little look at what we need because it's been a little while since we've looked at the treasure trail log right so with the hard clues most certainly we're still after a lot of rare items right explosive barrel is my number one pick that i want to get and third age amulet is also another item that i want to hit but uh, yeah getting an individual piece of third age is always going to be hard right masters an another little story right of course, we're still after a piece of Second Age for the Gold Master of Clues title. We need one of the melee pieces, right? We need a, just one piece of those and we're going to get ourselves the Gold Master of Clues title, which would be absolutely insane. But of course, Masters have the opportunity to get us, get us up onto very nice items. Any one of the dies, right? Any one of the broadcasts is always going to be nice. So, let's start up today, huh? Got... The Wealth of Alawator started up, got the Orlando Smith set on, of course, got the Luck of the Dwarves on, infused with so much RNG. Let's see what we get today. 200 hards starting us off. Puzzle skipping tickets starting us off, love to see that. Okay, starting off strong. We haven't had a broadcast from a hard clue in a little while. I think we're coming up to another thousand uh, hard clues since our last broadcast. Which is not surprising, you know, because my RNG with hard clues um, was insane at the start of the series and now it's kind of tethered out, you know. I'm getting up there in, um, in since Third Age as well. So hopefully we see another piece of Third Age sometime soon. It would be all, it's always nice to see Third Age and log progression, right? Uh, generally in a series I'll see uh, one or two pieces of um, log progression. And especially when we're getting later and later on in the clue chasing journey, um, clue uh, log progression is going to be very few and far between. But, of course, opening it up consistently, persistence is always key, right? Just continuously you're doing clues is going to result over time with log progression. Nice. 156k garbage. Oh my god, half the value. <laughs> Any masters that we get from here, of course, we'll start up another master run, so it's going to be bonus. We had an incredible master run last video, though, so. Nice. I have a feeling that the hard clues um, are not going to pay out as much as they did uh, last episode when it comes to master clues. Nice. And I keep forgetting how good master clues are for points, right? Especially when you hit thresh thresholds. It's just absolutely insane. Haha, <laughs> 6-9. Nice, another master there. Puzzle skipping tickets are always welcome. Talking about puzzle skipping tickets. Thank you, max roll 4. Puzzle skipping tickets. Oh, so good. Not just for the ba uh, Wealth of Alawator, but also because I use them consistently with Hards and Elites, right? So, it's less that I need to buy. Wouldn't mind another Shadow Die, though, my friends, from, from Hard Clues, you know? It's been a little while. <laughs> but we know many people in the community that have gone very dry when it comes to Shadow Dies over time, right? So, not surprised that um, we've hit the 5k threshold since our last Shadow Die. Nice. Pretty much on the past couple of broadcasts from Hards, we've over doubled our standard drop rate, which is quite sad, but we all know my RNG, man, when it rains, it pours, right? Generally, it will start rolling in all at the same time. Hopefully. <laughs> 118k? Trash. Nice. Kind of excited to see another piece of third age, though, not gonna lie. Getting closer and closer to those thresholds. Well, they're not really thresholds, right? Because regardless, you, they're not like PVM thresholds, but it's kind of like drop rate thresholds. Copium kind of style. Nice. 188k. Mm, Reroll. Nice. Making good GP gains so far as well from these hard caskets, which makes me happy. Consistency is always going to be nice. 
Not the amulet that I need. <laughs> uh, being able to get a third age amulet on this um, on this series alone would be absolutely amazing, though. Nice medium casket. Okay. Finally, like in the, I think in the last video we didn't get a single Orlando Smith hat prop from a hard casket, right? Which is quite sad. Okay. Sixty-three k. Nice purple sweets. 100 down, 100 more to go. We've made 104 mil, so just under where I normally want to be. I want to make 500 million GP today. I'm pretty sure I'll get that from, with no broadcasts from those masters as well. But having shadows there to kind of guide us through would be really nice. Nice. 103k. Oh, no. Nice pages. Love to see that. And puzzle skipping tickets. Thank you very much. Okay. Another master there, thank you. As I said, any master that we get today starts up the master run. Oh, back to back puzzle skipping tickets, let's go. And I've got puzzle skipping tickets in my inventory so we can see how many that we get during this run. Okay. Only 19 so far, unfortunately. Get me up over that 50 mark, okay? <laughs> nice. 144k? Mm. Oof. Oof. Bit of a terrible run here. Look at these values. Reroll them. Oh no. Thanks for the rune arrows, Jagex. Appreciate it. Another medium casket. Thank you very much. Okay. Haven't seen any misses so far. No super sets. No gilded pieces either. Okay. Are we on what's considered the hard clue dry streak at the moment? Oof. This another medium casket. Thank you, making up for last video. Of course, it's always going to be in the final hundred, right? 144k. Get me up onto that third age piece, right? A unique third age piece. No more duplicates, my friends. I've had three ranger tops. Okay, no more. Lot more opportunity to get uniques. Okay. Nice. Fortune, it's always nice. I'm gonna bump up the average value of these caskets quite a bit, man. Okay. What's. Oh, double four, right. 302. Hopefully, no more cape slot items, okay? My average broadcast value from hard clues is already very low 200 mil. <laughs> so, <laughs> nice. But it's the consistency from hard clues with fortunates, I think. They're, they're a more exciting medium clue, right? Because you have the opportunity to roll onto uh, rare tables. Nice. Absolute garbage. Ooh, ooh. My rerolls today have been not on point, okay? Been absolute trash. I think I'm being, uh, you know, because I've got so many. Oh, nice, another one. I've got so many reroll tokens in my bank that I would just never use, so maybe they're like, look, Dylan, you need to use those rerolls. And the final 25 time out of this 200 hard casket stack is the dream alive. It came alive last weekend, didn't it? It did come alive last episode with the final 25. Maybe today is that day as well. Maybe we're following up. Let's go. Okay. 599, not bad. Okay. Absolute trash. Absolute trash. And to watch this broadcast. Never lucky, man. One day I will re-roll into a broadcast. <laughs> nice. Back to back masters though, let's go. 96k. Okay. Hopefully we can get up over that 200 million GP threshold from these 200 hards. If I get under that, that's going to be quite sad. Okay. 166k. Get it out of here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. 138. There we go. Final 25 paint out with consistent fortunates. I like that. Okay. And then the final hard casket out of this stack of 200 hards. Is it going to happen? Reroll into broadcast? 
never lucky, my friends. So no broadcasts from those 200 hearts, now making us 1,000 hard clues since our last broadcast. 203 million GP accumulated from those, getting us up over 24.7 bill GP. But now, my friends, it's time. It's time to get ourselves a second age piece, isn't it? 600 master clues since our last broadcast of course masters are going to pay off for us today we're going to get our blood die we're going to get a third age die or a second age piece let's go let's see what these masters have in store for us today okay of course soul ornament kits and uh any one of the semi rare rewards is always going to be welcomed nice oh, 6.6 .6 mil our middle pages holy moly okay the fake Orlando Smith hat. Imagine my fourth Orlando Smith hat. That'd be amazing. Another one. It's time. It's time. It's happening. Nice. Box of clues calls and Hydrox bulk tips. You love to see that. Okay. Imagine. Oh, Soul Ornament Kit. That's what I'm talking about as well. 61 million GP to add to the Wath Evaluator. Maybe we will get up over that 500 mil mark today. Huh? If we keep getting lucky with Soul Ornament Kits, most certainly. Nice. Good little run here. Oh, double Mask. Okay, I'll take that. 199k. Reroll. Nice. Hydrix Bolt Tips. Oh, such good value. For me, anyway. <laughs> Any type of person doing clue scrolls right now is just rolling in GP, right? Nice. Unless you're me and using puzzle skipping tickets for absolutely everything and everything's a loss. <laughs> nice. 2.2. With, like, nothing crazy in here apart from, like, wines and Hydrox bolt tips. That's actually insane. Oh, I thought there was another soul ornament kit. A reaper ornament kit, though. I'll take it. It's another 8 million GP. Masters, of course, coming through with the semi rare rewards. But we need to get ourselves and break this dry streak, right? My worst dry streaks are about 1,100 when it comes to master clues. And then I got three broadcasts and 100, so... Maybe we're gearing up for that again. But maybe we can get ourselves up onto the second age table. Imagine a, a unique piece of second age. Oh, I'd be so happy. 274k. Nice. 205k. Absolute garbage. More armadal pages. Max roll as well. I'd love to see that. Okay. Absolute garbage. Another soul ornament kit. That's what I'm talking about as well. Another 60 million GP to add to the wealth evaluator. Oh, God, so ornament kits are just such good GP. Master clues in general are just such good GP, right? It, just with the consistency. Oh, another one. Okay, the fake sack of effigies as well. Getting a lot of these fake rolls today, my friends. It's not good. Reaper kit? Okay, and a, and a fortunate comp as well. Onyx bolt tips, 10 million GP adding to the wealth of Elevator. We'll re roll 464, right? Yeah. We'll re-roll that as well. Okay. <laughs> 293k. Get it out of here, man. 50 down. 50 more to go. There's still 50 more opportunities in the stack, my friends. Okay? Oh, the tremor's alive. Come on. Get ourselves up onto that huge lottery item, right? Nice. Remove seeds from all tables and you'd make me a happy man. 443k okay let's go dude broken my dry streak bearers die to add to the collection bearers die number 12 as well that's insane so that's not the lottery item that we were after but it is another broadcast to add to the collection bearers die number 12 insane man insane Finally broken the dry streak with masters, 600 odd dry on masters, and now we can reset that counter and add another broadcast to the collection. Happy man, we've broken the 25 billion GP mark as well. Awesome, awesome. Still got 42 masters to open as well, 183 million GP to add to the Wath of Aloeda. Makes me a happy man, right? Another Barra's Die, but I'm still Barra's Die King, right? 12 Barra's Dies received on this series so far. 
bonkers. 42 more masters to open as well. Let's keep it going. Second age piece now. Back to back. Never lucky. Okay. Love to see that. Of course, with RNG, it can come in mysterious ways, my friends. Oh, another Reaper kit there as well. Love to see that. And um, another 10 million GP clue. Oh, it's pull tips. Insane. Made some good GP today from these from these Masters and Hearts, that's for sure. Makes me happy. Getting us closer and closer to the end goal. 364k. Box of clues goes 75 Hydrix Bolt tips, man. <laughs> <laughs> they really, really, um, like, the average value of Master Clues is, was already insane, but now Hydrix Bolt Tips is, like, meta. Bonkers. 465k. Another fake sack of effigies. Nice. 205k. Ooh, Elite Casket proc. I love to see that. And now, my friends, we're down to the final 25 Master Clues out of the stack of 100 and tidying us over, right? 25 billion GP total has been now uh, accumulated on this series. 663 mil, and we've still got 25 more Master Clues to open. Let's see what we get today. Nice. 424k, absolute garbage. Hydrix Bolters. Is the final 25 paying off? Come on. Surely Master Clue is the only thing that they're going to give us as a Barazai. No way, right? <laughs> nice. It's all RNG at the end of the day, right? Oof. Nice. Even like... Oh, nice. Another Le um proc. Love to see that. 609k. We'll keep them in that. Oh, we'll reroll on 553 though. Oof. Oof. Nice. One more soul ornament kit to kind of tide us over. Nope. <laughs> 280k. Absolutely garbage. Get it out of here, man. Okay. Oh, I, I got scared for a second. That value scared me. <laughs> I didn't know what the pajama top was. Okay. Nice. 250k into broadcast. Never lucky. And then the final master casket out of this stack of 100 masters. Let's go. Never lucky on the final casket. Never had a broadcast on the final one. But we have broken our master dry streak with another Barrow's Day. Our 12th Barrow's Day of this series. So really, really helping us get up closer and closer to the end goal, right? Over 25 billion GP has been accumulated so far. Today, we made 695 million GP to add to the wealth of our Lowada, so 25.1 billion GP accumulated over that 75% threshold now. Getting closer and closer, right? But if you guys like this content, which is just pure clue chasing content, please be sure to subscribe because this is all I do when I log into runescape.com as I do clue scrolls. As you can see by my YouTube channel, it's just all clues, right? If you like this particular video, Pop a little like down below, I'd appreciate it a lot. And if you have any questions, comments, queries, you just want to chat about absolutely anything runescape.com related, pop it in the comment section down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hope you guys have had a fantastic day, no matter where you are in the world, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.